Yo guys, what is going on? And in today's video, I'm gonna be breaking down this new viral text captions effect that is quite literally going everywhere, blowing up on social media and Instagram and stuff like that. But before we jump into this video, I wanna let you know that I'm holding a free live masterclass on November 20th to show you guys how to become a pro editor from A to Z. This is going to be a live call, so make sure you guys join with the link down in the description. But keep in mind, there's only 500 spots even available, so make sure you guys reserve your spot right now. But without further ado, we are gonna hop into DaVinci Resolve. So as you the can see right here, to sell someone something it that's the text title we're going to be learning today so what we're going to do is we're going to do it on my clip just to make things a lot easier so first thing i'm going to do is uh grab a uh, text plus here in davinci resolve and we're going to be using the font railway because i really like the font railway just makes it look really nice and if we go ahead and do uh this semi bold italic it's just perfect it literally is like almost identical to what he has going on over here so and you are stuck leveling up so, and you are stuck leveling up as a video editor is what we're going to be learning. So, and you are stuck leveling up as a, which is exactly what, what we're going to be doing. So we're going to just going to type it out just like that, but we're going to put it right here for me. And actually I kind of want to do this just a little bit more bolded. And then we're going to capitalize each and every single first word just to make things a lot more easier for me. So leveling as a, so we're just going to do for the as a for now. So it does go up to about right there. So now we're going to cut that there. So the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and head into the fusion page just to make this look a whole lot better. So we're going to go ahead and do shift space and add some glow um, just to make this pop, uh, turn the glowing, turn the glow down just a little bit. It doesn't have to be crazy. Um, now it looks literally a gajillion times better. So now we'll go ahead and double click and create it as a compound clip. Um, and what we're gonna basically do here is we're gonna do some cropping methods. So I'm gonna go ahead and do right first. And then obviously we're gonna do the first word, which is and. So we're gonna, now we're gonna do the bottom as the cropping bottom. So now we just have and. So now if we go ahead and do and, you you so we're gonna do markers so you so you of course you are, are stuck 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 leveling, leveling up leveling up leveling up leveling up leveling up no. so up up as, as it And then right here, we're going to do a simple. And you are stuck leveling up as it. They video. They video. They video. Boom, just like that. So now we have everything basically where we want it. So now we have and, and then this will be the next word, will be this one right here. So now we're going to go ahead and uncrop. The right and do you we're gonna have this one basically just on for the rest of the clip so now we just have the word you so now we're gonna go to the opacity and turn the opacity down like right here make sure you hit a keyframe on this right here on the beginning and then right at the end we're just gonna turn it all the way back up so now you and then we'll make sure we extend this out till the end as well so now we're just gonna do the word R as you can deactivate it and tell that it's just simply the R so so we're gonna cut that here because we know that we're gonna do the whole opacity thing here. So hit that keyframe there, go to the end and turn it all the way up. So now we have something like you are, boom, it's looking fire and icy already. Stuck. So now we have stuck. So we're gonna go ahead and hold option and scroll up. So that way we can get the stuck. Stuck and then we'll make sure we crop it to where it just fits the stuck once again hit a keyframe and At the position of opacity down here hit a keyframe go all the way up and turn it all the way up So now we have stuck Clip. So now we have a big one which is going to be leveling up So holding option again, we're going to scroll up making sure it's another copy and then now for this one We are going to turn so now we just have leveling, so we're going to hit a keyframe here and level. We're going to do the same thing. So turning that down, keep keyframe in the beginning, go to the beginning or the end and then turn it back up. So now we have 
leveling, leveling up. So now we have up, so we're gonna once again scroll up on the key and then uh, go ahead and do the up. Make sure the right is good to go. Make sure the cropping of the left is good. So now we have just simply up. Cut that there, and we're gonna do the same thing for the opacity. So boom, go to the end and turn it back up. So leveling up. As they, they. So now we have as a, so we're gonna make sure we cut that there. Once again, make sure the as a is all good just like so, turning the opacity down, keyframe till the end, turn the opacity back up. Okay, cool, now that we have this effect completely done, we're gonna highlight all of these and go ahead and create a new compound clip. So now, what we're gonna do, as I say video editor, so once it's right here, we're gonna go ahead and head into the Fusion page with this big compound clip. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and hit shift space and search for a blur, and we're gonna add in that blur. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna turn the blur size up right here and go to the end and just turn the blur completely up just like so. So now we have video, just video. like that. Cool, and then what we can do is we can go to the spline and make sure we go to the blur, zoom to fit, command A, and then smooth it out. Now if we come back here, we can go ahead and come right when it starts to add that blur effect right here. We're gonna go ahead and hit a keyframe on the opacity. Go forward till it is done. So like right here, and then just turn the opacity down. So that way it just gives that blur effect going away. Now what we're gonna do is we are going to grab another text plus right about here. And we're gonna go to the end right here, cut that there. And what we're gonna type on is railway to get that same look. This time we're gonna do a really thick look and we're gonna do video editor in all caps. Scale it up and put it right above this. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the fusion page with this video editor once again and add another glow. Turn that glow up, turn this down, and then go back to the edit page. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna drag and hold option up so yep video, and then editor. So for this one, we're gonna create a new compound clip as well as with this one, creating a new compound clip. This basically just makes sure that it's just gonna be held in place so that way we can actually do the cropping method. So for this first one, we're gonna go ahead and hit left. Boom, on the video, so now it's just that. And then for this one, we're gonna go ahead and hit right so that it, or left so that it crops the video. So now we have video editor, boom, just like that. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go ahead and go to the opacity, turn it down, put a keyframe, and then go all the way back up. So now, as a video, this is looking really good. And then right here, we're gonna hit a keyframe on opacity of 12, and then go a few frames forward. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna put it right, right here, and then have it as that. So, simple as that. And then now if we play this through, this is what you are left with. And guys, that is pretty simple on how to do this like blur styled new textile effect in DaVinci Resolve. This effect is super cool and it doesn't tax too much on your computer because you're really just using blur, cropping methods, and glow. And with all in the DaVinci Resolve, now I'm sure there's other methods you can do this. This is just the fastest, most easiest way possible that I figured out you could do this without going into the Fusion page and doing tweaking and doing all that stuff there. But if you guys enjoyed this video, then please leave a like and subscribe and don't forget to join the free live webinar November 20th. It is going to be a free class, so you might as well join. But without further ado, I will see you guys in the next video.